first of all, on behalf of all the varsity players here, uh, we'd like to extend our appreciation to Coach Nagrin. Um, we started off the year with a kick, uh, SS1, fellas love to say. And uh, following that, you know, the home crowds really did a lot for us, and um, you know, it, it topped it off with a uh, great run in states. But to uh, Coach Nagrin, when you started at PB three years ago, you came with lots of fanfare and excitement. We heard of all your accomplishments, and what a great coach you were, and how fortunate we were to get the Don Bosco head coach. Right. It was a fresh start with you, and it was our first year, it was your first year. And probably like you, we had no idea what to expect. We had no idea what we were in for. First thing was the 6.30 a.m. practices all summer long, and uh, we all loved that. It was our first indication of how crazy you actually were. You learned right from the get-go. Uh, five miles, 6.30 in the morning, under 30 minutes, just like the national team. And our parents weren't too happy either driving us to those practices. But uh, we spent the summer watching you jump around, up and down, encouraging us, motivating us to uh, push forward. So at that point, we learned you were kind of out of control. Uh, okay. I am. <laughs> By the end of the summer, the jumping and encouraging, motivating and talking had turned into yelling, some, sometimes even screaming, some foot stomping, fist bumping, and the almighty throwing of the hat onto the field. If nothing else, you woke us up and got our attention. Next thing you knew, next thing we knew, you show up with a rope, which in the beginning, we did not know the meaning behind the rope at all. He kept on telling us, you'll see, you'll see, everything will be clear soon enough. We still had uh, doubts about your sanity. We found out quickly about the real significance of that rope. Before we knew it, uh, you had recorded, recruited 25 students to your cause that were going to show up with the Indian headdresses on and the shirts with the seniors' name all spelled incorrectly on them to cheer for us at our home games. And then came promises, championships, county tournaments, shutouts, crowd-filled stands, Valley Cup Classic, and best of all, night games. Now we are certain this guy is delusional. <laughs> Year two. Now we were juniors. We were told in December to plan our summer vacations around soccer. We were told to give up sodas and sugars, work out through the entire off season. Summer tournaments at Tom's River and again with the night games under the lights. We were high-fiving we high teammates in the halls all school, all school year long for fear that we didn't you'd have us running in the snow. And the rope, still with the rope. Lo and behold, the promises once considered fantasy started to become realities. League championship came, and even a few night games, and we get to learn a color lesson as well. No longer are we red and green, but uh, Crayola has also instituted PB Kelly green. It's a new color they just came out with. And whether you, we like it or not, we got our new stiff, scratchy, bright green, Kelly green away uniforms to accept our identity. Can't mistake us for another team. They didn't even make socks to match the green color uniform we received. And now we bring in marching bands, soccer parades, What's next? Our schedule is filled. Oh. Uh, year three, finally seniors. We have arrived. We got through our third summer. Piece of cake this time. We win the Valley Cup. We special order the correct Kelly Green PB socks. We haven't had a soda in two years. We are conditioned. We have stamina. Our goalie even passes the fitness test, but our sweeper doesn't. <laughs> and finally, we see what you have made of one hot summer night when you empty your pockets and challenge Carney into a race. You even got Coleman's attention. Oh, Jesus, this is going to be good. <laughs> our schedule is filled with night games under the lights. We are immune to the hat throwing tirades on the sidelines. We get a new JV assistant varsity coach. He's kind of like our age. He's a cool guy. <laughs> Coleman starts to crack a smile every once in a while behind your back. Our names are spelled correctly on the senior fan club shirts. We rectify the Cho incident almost before anyone even knew that he left out his name. We finally become Roy's boys instead of the tribe from the previous year. 
We high five each other in the halls like it's second nature. After a minor setback of forgetting the rope one summer afternoon, we run long and hard enough to finally get the whole rope thing and figure out that the rope was the 21st player on our team. We challenge our Kelly Green with our neon lime green and create a green out in the stands that no school team in our area has ever seen. Your energy and passion is infectious, and we have a teacher appreciation. We appreciate our fans. We honor our parents. We are honored with a senior rose ceremony. PV Boys Soccer has arrived. We are on our announcements. We are in the hallways and lunchroom. Our teachers are texting us with encouragement before the games. Our congratulations after our games. Because of you, we are no longer just the Pascal Boys soccer team. We are the Pascal Boys soccer team. We are leaders and we hold the rope. Thank you, Mr. Adams.